Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. So my name's Debbie if you don't know me and this video is going to be another collab video. I'm on a bit of a collab roll this week and it's so exciting. So this collab is with my friend here on YouTube, Anya. Anya Stamper. I've only recently met Anya probably about a month ago and we've become really good friends actually and she's so sweet, so supportive, so lovely and when she offered to do a collab I was so excited to do it because she does amazing rainbow eyes, she does quite editorial kind of makeup like not super blended but really beautiful colourful makeup and she manages to do her videos all in one cut. I mean I don't know how she does that because you probably, if you've been here before, seen that I do speed up and cut things out quite often because I do make mistakes, so, and I think most people do, so I, I'm in awe of that. And when I watch her videos, it's like just watching a friend do their makeup. She's super chill while she does it, even when it's a, a palette bingo or, or whatever. And that's what this one is going to be, so we were chatting about what we might do, and we were like, well we know that each other have got a lot of blush try palettes she's like blush tries biggest fan i know she's got just about all the palettes so she said how about if we do a blush try and certify palette bingo with all the palettes that we have in common so i was like oh, i wonder how many that'll be but we've actually got seven palettes in common so we've got two certified palettes we've got the affinity two and we've got the dynasty and then we've got five blush tribe palettes so we have the Hasina one the Hasina two we have the neon dreams we've got the sonia zarin palette and the paulina palette so if you know anything about these palettes they've got super colorful shades inside apart from the sonia zarin that's quite neutral but there are a few colors in that so we could end up with literally any colour story here but I'm fairly confident that it won't end up like the last collab that I did. So I did a face off collab, I will link that up there and we had six shades and pulled out all shimmers. I'm fairly confident that won't happen because there's a lot of mattes in these palettes but the neons could throw things off and we could have a very strange colour story. So. What I'm going to do, I've got a random generator here on my phone. I'm going to put in the number of shades. So I've got it set up at the moment for 1 to 18 because I'm going to start with this palette first. And that's another thing, they've all got different number of shades. But this is the, the Dynasty palette, so we've got 18 shades in that one. So I've put it 1 to 18 and let's see what shade we get for that. Okay, we've got number 14, so number 14, so number 14 is the shade Grand, so it's that shade, which I'm not mad about, that, that's nice, I like that. So I'm going to swatch each of them out as I go, and I'm going to make a note of the numbers and the palettes as well, because this could get quite confusing by the time I'm done. Okay then, so next palette we've got is the 35 affinity 2 and this is a blue and green palette so we shouldn't have too many problems in getting a color story that matches with those two palettes anyway so that's the shades inside that one so let's see what the generator has installed got it 1 to 18 still and we've got number 18 Oh, that's a nice shade. So number 18 is Shafai. Shafai. It's a white duo chrome in the palette. Beautiful colour. So that's the colour for that one. Oh, that's really going to be a gorgeous colour story so far. We could end up with a blue and green colour story here. Okay, next one then. I've got the... Paulina here so that's got nine shades so I'm just gonna alter the generator down to nine and we'll see what we get with that okay we've got number seven so let's see what number seven is so that's the 
the palette so we've got one to six so that's number seven there the purple called Salma and that's a shimmer so so far we've got a matte duochrome and a shimmer and oh, that's a beautiful shade really really beautiful purple so Anya's doing the same thing but she'll be generating herself different shades so we'll have a completely different colour story to work with so that should be interesting. As this has got nine shades as well, I'll do the Neon Dreams next so that's the colours in that one. Let's see what we get. Okay we have number one. Oh I've never used this shade before. I've done a first impressions with this palette but I've not used this shade. So that's number one, a Layla. Beautiful neon pink shade. Okay, so that's Layla swatched out there. I think I'm being quite lucky, they're not too bad. Okay, the Sonia Sarin palette has 16 shades. So I think it's the only one that's got 16, so we'll do that one next. So if you're not familiar with the palette, that's the palette so it has got some colors but they're more muted colors it's more of a, a neutral toned palette so I'll set the generator for 16 and we've got number three for that one. Ooh, that one's going to throw things off a little bit so number three is that shade the shade Sada and it's kind of a grungy mustardy colour yeah could have done without that one don't really like that one in this colour story but we'll make it work we'll do something with it so there's some beautiful greens in there as well it's such a shame we didn't get the greens right and then we've got the Hasina one and Hasina two so this is what the Hasina one looks like so we've got 15 shades in that one and the same in the Hasina 2. Okay, so we've got number 7, which is the green Jamila there. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the Hasina 2 which is all greens and blues and purples absolutely gorgeous colour story in that one so let's see what we get for that one so we've still got 15 shades in there number one number one's been popular so number one is the shade Monique there beautiful purple or lilac Okay, so that's our colour story. I'm not mad at it. The only one I don't really feel for this look is that grungy sort of baby puke brown there. Can't see how I'm going to work that one into the look really. So, very sparingly I think. But other than that, I think it's quite an inspiring colour story. Quite like it. So, that's our seven shades. So I'm just going to hop off camera and have a little think what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to start applying these to my eyes and make her an eye look with them. Okay guys, I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, I've got a plan. I've uh, scooched in a little bit and we're going to start. So I'm going to start with this palette, the Certified Dynasty, and our first shade which was Grand. So this blue shade here. And I'm going to do a bit of a multicoloured crease to use some of the, the colours. So I'm just going to pop that one there I know Anya always uses a white base she uses her MAC paint stick I think it's called it's like a pro product because I didn't know what shades we were going to get I didn't go in with a white base I've just gone in with my normal MAC painterly paint pot so we'll see how I get on but that's the, the first shade down, so I'm going to put that palette to one side. So then I'm going to go in with the green shade. 
yeah so that was from the Asana palette keeping track of these honestly it's fun so that was the one from the Asana the green so we're gonna do that next and I'm gonna blend that into that blue shade I'm taking it higher than my natural crease because I'm going to do a cut crease else I'll never fit all these seven shades on my eyes I don't think okay so we've got the the green shade down let's blend that out just a little into the crease there so that's two down uh, okay I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this brownish colour next the one that I wasn't so so keen to use and just hope we don't get a muddy mess when I go in with that so I'm going to take that next there as I say ideally I would not have had this shade in my look but that's all part of the fun of these things, you've got to make it work. So I'm definitely not going to blend it too much into that green shade, otherwise we're going to run into trouble. Colour theory is not my strong point, but even I know that brown and green are not going to, not going to look too great together. Unless I'm on a tree. Okay, so that's what we've got right now. Looking a bit crazy, well, a lot crazy. But that's the, the next shade down. I think what I'm gonna do, because no one said you couldn't use these colors more than once, is I'm going to use the blue that we've already used. So the, this one, and I'm gonna continue that down. So, in fact, I might do the green and then the blue. If I go green there, it's definitely the most unusual look I've ever done. And then back in with that blue from the 35 palette. Because then I can bring that kind of angled down there. And I think that's going to work. fact I think I'm going to take that blue on my lower lash line as well Right, now I'm going to cut my crease because we've got how many shades? We've used one, two, three. We've only used three shades, oh dear. Yeah, we've used three shades, so I've got four shades left to, to find homes for. So, But they're all quite interesting and quite normal colours, I think. So I think we're going to be okay. Right. So I'm going to cut my crease with the white concealer from Kat Von D. Not a full cut crease, but... Okay, so my camera died, rookie error, and I had to recharge it a little bit just to get some power into it. So I've cut my lids off camera, it takes me ages anyway, so at least that's done. 
Um, the next shade I'm going to go in with is this one from the Paulina because that was the, the one we had number seven from that. And I'm going to take that on the outer corner of my lid there. I'm going to pick it up on a brush and I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus. I don't like using shimmers with my fingers so that's what I'm going to do. And I'll take that to around about halfway in and the same on the other eye. And yeah, this is probably the craziest colour combo I've ever done, I have to say. And I would never have done this in a million years if it hadn't been for this colour. But I think I'm going to make it work one way or another. Can't wait to see what Anya does because she can literally put a ton of different colours together. She does a lot of rainbow looks. I'm not so practiced on doing multicolored looks like this. I tend to just choose one or two looks and I do more grungier sort of looks quite often. Okay, so that's the purple down. So that's all I'm going to use out of the Paulina. So that's gone to one side now. And then out of the Hasina 2, the shade we got out there was Monique which is that one swatched out on my arm so we've just used that one on my lid we're going to use this one using the same brush i've just flipped it over to the other side again i'm going to spray it i just find that shimmers work better either sprayed or with some glitter glue i'm just going to take that in the center and just sort of blend it into the shade we've just put down See, that's what's great about this because I never would have thought of using the purple from the Paulina palette with the purple out there. See the palette, but they look really nice together. Maybe not with a green, blue, and brown crease, but you know. Okay, so that's where we are right now. I think it's beginning to come together now. So you might notice I'm leaving the neon dream still last. <laughs> so the next one I'm going in with, we got shade 18 in the Affinity 2. So it was this one, which was Chaffe, which is this colour here on my arm. So I'm going to spray that I'm just going to use that on the inner part of my lid space. That looks beautiful with the purple. Okay, so we've just got the neon to go. So we're going to need a white base to pat that down onto. Again I'm going to use a bit of concealer to just prime underneath. I'm going to take it on a very small detailed brush. This is just a lip brush actually. And then just using a pencil brush. The shade we were using was number one from this palette which was Layla. So this one which is that one on my arm there. And we're just going to have a pop of neon on that lower lash line. If I can get that to, to stick, which we may not be able to. Oh no, there you go, we're getting there. So I'm going to really just press that on. I did a first impressions with these and I used the yellowy shade and it all went in my eye, so I'm like... Super careful now. I'm just going to angle that just up slightly so it sort of wraps around my tear duct a little bit. And then just blend it a little bit into that blue. Ok, 
Okay, we're looking sufficiently crazy. So now, the only thing I want to do is use a pencil in my waterline. So I'm going to use the Linda Halberg Mood Crayon in Cool Mood. Because I think we've got enough colour going on. I thought we'd just stick with the blue that's on the outer corners of the lash line there. So I'm going to hop off camera, just put my mascara on and put a lipstick on and I'll be back with the finished look in a moment. Okay guys, so here's the finished look. Probably one of the, the most crazy looks I've ever done, but I paired it with my lucky lipstick that I've worn in my last collab and this one. And I do love this shade, it's Jeffree Star's Popsicle Dream Lip Ammunition. And I've also put a little bit of the heavy metal midnight cowboy glitter where the cut crease meets i just thought it finished it off a little bit and give it a bit of definition between that green and the purple i think if we hadn't have had that brownie shade it would have looked okay but that's the look anyway i can't wait to see what anya's done with with her shade selection that she gets and if you've enjoyed this video then please give it a like and then Please hop off of here and into Annie's video, show her some love. If you're not subscribed already, then I'm sure you're gonna love her channel, as I'll say, she's super sweet. I'm so proud to call her a friend. She's the nicest person, really talented. She'll do something amazing with the shades, I'm sure. So it's been a lot of fun. Thank you so much for the collab, Anya. And I hope, as I say, you guys have enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.